Maxing all heroes, plus a most satisfying attack. Welcome Valley Clash and it's Merlin of Indigo Dragons. We're going to be totally smashing this base today, a most satisfying attack with enough troops and heroes left over to go on and attack another base. And we're also going to be maxing out the last of our heroes in our Town Hall 13 base. The Ground Warden, who's on level 49 at the moment. One level to go up to level 50. And we've done lots of upgrades on defences as well, which are maxed. There's a maxed bomb tower, the max mortar. This is since the March update. We also maxed out some of the collectors as well. You can see the gold mine there. And I've got a couple of elixir collectors upgrading at the moment. And we've got some loot to spend to upgrade. So we're going to upgrade something with this elixir let's have a look in treasury lots of loot in there to collect so there's a 16 million elixir and that's enough to do the last grand warden upgrade so let's get on and do that now i've got book of heroes as well so we can finish it straight away uh just have a look there with some bombs there's quite a few new upgrades in the march update for those of you that maxed out town hall 13 all the collectors to go up, Dark Elixir, um, but also the cannon is upgraded in there, that goes up another level. The Archer Towers will go up, the Bomb Tower and the Mortars. Uh, so uh, some of the traps as well, um, bombs and things. So we've got quite a few upgrades to do now. And we're going to max out this Ground Warden right now and extend his Eternal Tome ability. As ability time goes up another half a second to eight seconds. That is such a long time. So he's upgrading. Let's finish it now. There we go. Awesome stuff. So all of the heroes now on this account are maxed. We'll just have a look at those there. So they're max, king, queen, grand warden, and the royal champion. All maxed there. Let's have a look at them assembled together with this new user interface that we have to see them. So we can rotate them and have a good look at them all. Uh, I've gone for all the caveman style um, skins at the moment. Just because that's the only consistent set. Uh, not necessarily my favourite of each. But they're kind of fun together like that. Uh, just need one for the Royal Champion don't we really? Um, so there we go. Lots of uh, challenges complete as well. Uh, really at sort of end game level now with this base. Apart from walls. Those pesky walls we have to upgrade. So many walls to do, and uh, I've nearly finished getting up to the level 13 walls, but they go up again to 14. All right, so we get another um, uh, gold collector going, and this elixir collector, and then we're going to do an attack in a moment with all of the max heroes. And we're going to use the Ye Witch strategy, and I'm also using the super uh, giants to help break into the base so we'll show you that and I found a base that that's, was really uh, all the collectors and everything collected together and it was just so tempting and so satisfying to attack so we're going to have a look at that replay in a moment just having a look around here yeah that bo giant bomb doesn't go up anymore and um yeah, there's just a few traps to do. Okay, so we'll get on with the next replay then. So it was a dead base. Uh, with no, with the town hall upgrade, and well, which makes it easy. And no clan, castle, troops or heroes ready. Uh, but the thing is, we've got all those collectors over there. If we want to just loot. Uh, but then we've got these infernos together. Expos, bomb towers. And then the splash damage wizard towers all together. All of the eight archer towers and everything clustered together. So my first thought was, okay, this dead base can be fairly easy. But then I thought, well, look all those defences we've got to plough through. Now, they are, it is laid out quite nicely because if we can get into that um, little sort of area and plough all the way through it, we haven't got to jump any walls or anything. we just got to get in there first. And I thought I'd deal with the eagle artillery and the scatter shots first. So we're going to use some giants to come in there. And I started off just by dropping an archer just to test whether there was any any traps or anything going to come up there. I don't know why I did that actually because there's not really room for traps. 
One giant to distract the scout shot, but actually the rest of my giants went to the same location. I should have planned that a bit better. And raged them quickly through those scatter shots. Uh, brought in a yeti. Dropped some witches at the top corner there to start making a progress on the collectors and building up lots of skeletons and then moving over towards the town hall. Meanwhile, I've got all the yetis coming in. I sent in the um, stone slammer after the air defense has pretty much gone down slightly early with that and using the ground ward's ability as we approach those wizard towers and all that splash damage that's going to go on my yetis. Bowlers. Got the king and queen in there, plowing through, using the freeze to freeze the expos and bomb towers, and then also to freeze those inferno towers, which is going to do a lot of damage to my troops. A single and two multis uh, would take out my troops pretty quickly, but the freeze stops them. A jump to get out of there just to speed up things. And look all those skeletons and yetis and witches that are coming to join us that have already been through that central area. Take out the town hall. And now we're on to the uh, collectors and storage. Uh, dropped my poison. Didn't need it, but I just dropped it because I don't like to mess up my uh, next army. So I'd rather just get rid of that. And look at all of that. I mean, we've got all of the heroes there. We've got enough troops, skeletons, and witches, and bowlers, and yetis to go on and three-star something else, I think. Really enjoyable attack. Uh, loads of Dark Elixir as well uh, helped me to complete the challenge in the clan games. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you.